All stopping drinking is, it's relearning a skill you used to have, i.e. socialising sober. But for me, it took a number of events to get back there. Other people will do it immediately. Everything's telling us you're going to miss out. As you said, it's going to be miserable. Yeah. So what would you say to people perhaps that are listening that are like, yeah, but you know, I don't want to miss out and I want to have fun and all those things that come up. I, I would say my experience is you do have fun again. You absolutely do and like I say you actually enjoy it more when when you socialize your brain releases something called um endorphins to make you feel really good so a lot of the time when you're drinking and socializing that buzz you get that feels really nice is actually mainly the endorphins um, when you quit drinking it takes a while to settle back into social occasions but when you do you get that buzz now when you're drinking over the course of the evening you eventually anesthetize that buzz so the drinkers appear very animated and happy when they're drinking if you look at them two or three hours later the moods dropped massively and that's when you get the arguments and all the rest of it is because but you when you're not drinking actually feel good for the whole evening so to a degree you have to trust the system but the other thing i would say which is a bit may sound a bit counterintuitive don't expect to enjoy it immediately and the reason i say this I was talking to someone the other day who was really struggling with these social occasions with this particular point. Like, I can't go out and enjoy myself without alcohol. Everyone else seems to be able to do it. And I think the problem was she was going day one expecting to really enjoy herself. And of course, you're probably not going, you know, if, if, if you haven't socialised without a drink in hand for the past 20, 30 years, it takes a bit of time to get on with it. And I think this was why my mindset of or life, certain parts of life are going to be awful, I'm not going to enjoy them, actually helped me. Because I think if I'd started off thinking, well, I'm going to quit drinking, everyone seems to enjoy social events when they're not drinking, so I'm going to go to my first social event and expect to really enjoy it, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it. And it would have been kind of like a massive blow to my morale and my determination to keep going. But I was going with the mindset this is going to be miserable because when I stopped, I avoided as many social occasions as I could. But of course, you can't avoid all of them. There's stuff that comes up that you absolutely have to go to. So I was going with the mindset that I don't want to go. I'm not going to enjoy a second of it. And in fact, forget enjoying it. I'm just going to feel awkward and <laughs> really deeply uncomfortable. But I have to just stand there and feel awful for four or five hours and then I can leave. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll just stand there and hate it and wait for it to be over. And that was my mindset. That's socialising for me. And of course, you turn up feeling like that, but you have some food, you have a couple of alcohol free drinks, you end up chatting to someone. And soon, I think even on my first event, I was suddenly like, do you know what? I've been talking to someone and quite enjoying the conversation. And I wouldn't say I was enjoying myself, but I wasn't acutely miserable. And then I was like, oh, that's interesting. So there was a chunk of those four or five hours where I wasn't miserable. And I started thinking about that. And it was like, okay, so it's when I kind of forget all the stuff that's going on. And I used to use alcohol to forget that. But actually, you can forget it by getting into an interesting conversation with someone, for example, which is what socialising is all about. Really? So, <laughs> <laughs> not the alcohol. Shock horror. So for me, it was a good way of doing it because – Instead of expecting it to be fantastic, and it wasn't fantastic, so it would have really knocked my, you know, my determination and my commitment to not drinking. I did it the other way around. I expected it to be awful, and actually, it wasn't quite so awful. And it was like it was quite a nice, pleasant surprise. And then, of course, having done it once, you're turning up at the next one not quite so on edge because you're like, actually, there was a bit of it, it was all right. So I was going and not expecting it to be really awful, or expecting it to just be awful. <laughs> <laughs> and relax a bit more and it's slightly better and so it, it took time for me to get there so that's what I would say to people who are struggling with the social aspect different people are different some people are very extroverted and I know people who quit and their first social event they go to and it's like, oh it was brilliant I really enjoyed it you might get that if you're lucky but my advice would be it's almost like it's hope for the best but prepare for the worst expect it to be awful and then if it's anything less it's like oh well actually that's okay that's you know and it gives you hope and like I say we used to be able to socialize without alcohol as a child okay 
all stopping drinking is it's relearning a skill you used to have i.e socializing sober but for me it took a number of events to get back there other people will do it immediately but it does take a bit of time it's a short answer yeah and i love that that realism because i think with a lot of the messaging out there on social media it's all or can be very woohoo look this is amazing yeah, absolutely and what yeah. can happen, I think, you know, people see that and then they don't have that experience. And so it's reinforcing the misery. Oh, my God, it, you know, yeah. that difference, they're different. I'm, you know, I'm yeah. worse. Um, I know this is a tricky question, but I'm wondering if you can give an indication of how long one might expect to wait before they see the benefits, the physiological benefits of, you know, the sleep. Only you mentioned a five nights maybe, but, you know, the better sleep, the better mental health, energy, all those sorts of things that will allow someone to see that it's worth it because this is, yeah, yeah. we need to see that it's worth it, right? Yeah, absolutely. So what happens is when you stop drinking, I think the alcohol usually leaves your system, e even in a very heavy drinker, 24 to 36 hours after you stopped. But about five hours in, the level of alcohol will drop in comparison to the stimulants that are in your system. So that's when you'll feel really anxious. The worst case is that anxiety, that additional anxiety will tail off by days three to five. What people usually find is it peaks after about 24 hours and then slowly goes and it should disappear between three to five days gone entirely. So what you'll find for the first few days, you'll feel very uptight. You won't be able to probably eat particularly well. Um, you'll find sleeping very difficult, as we talked about. Um, and then you come out the other side of that and you start sleeping really well. So you're out of that anxious stage, but then you almost go the other way because, you know, if you've been drinking for 20, 30 years fairly regularly, you haven't had a proper sleep for that entire period. OK, so there's a massive amount of catch up that your body needs to go through. So what happens is people spend the first few days feeling anxious, not being able to sleep, and then they go completely the other way. Now, what they will find is they're really lacking in energy, really heavy, really lethargic, and they just want to sleep all the time. That period of needing to sleep is it's incredibly hard to put a time scale on it because it can be anything from a couple of nights at the extreme outside four months okay which is quite a long period but let me just explain where the four months comes from so i've you know as you said i stopped drinking 10 years i wrote the book nearly 10 years ago and i've had a lot of contact with an awful lot of people and found out their experiences of stopping until very recently the longest period of I, i've heard of that tired feeling was three months then very not long ago at all someone said it was four months for them so this is the extreme outside what people will find is it's usually quicker than that so a few weeks hopefully a month or so the, the average i think for, for even bad cases is usually about four weeks to a month and what people find is they're feeling very heavy very lethargic very lacking in energy and it's almost like one day they just wake up and think oh wow I feel different because they it's as quick as that you literally one day just wake up feeling different and that's when it hits people okay so this is what not drinking is all about so to a degree you have to trust the system and know that it gets better if you're feeling very heavy and tired and lethargic it doesn't last forever and i promise you it's so worth it when you come out the other side because that is the thing where you and i sit there and go it feels so good when you're not drinking and that's what we're talking about when you come out of that other side so worst case well few weeks month but absolute worst case three months but just to highlight, aside from that, craving is a psychological process and you can crave at any time about anything. You know, if you're fantasizing about something you want, but you can't have and it's distracting you from everything else, you're fantasizing, you know, you're craving. So it is possible for the craving to outlast all of the physiological, chemical side of things. Yeah. Just as a warning. Yeah. But 
I, th- I think it's so important to normalize the fact that this process of really feeling the benefits is different for everybody. And yeah. if you're not feeling the sleep after five days, it's it doesn't mean that's not going to happen for you, that we're all Correct. different. Yeah. And I think this is so important as well to share with the audience that it's very much a unique experience. But mm. ultimately, you cannot lose by removing a number one rated carcinogen <laughs> from your <laughs> from your daily consumption habits. Yes, um, absolutely. It, 